In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can use Google's VO3 model for state-of-the-art video generation. We're going to go through a few prompts, see some examples of different videos that this model here can act like generate. This is very good if you want to generate synthetic data for object detection computer vision systems. So if you're in need of data, you can find different edge cases and so on, you can go in and generate it with the VO3 model from Google. These models here are only becoming better and better, they're getting more realistic and so on. So we're going to generate a few examples with the video model and then we're going to see how we can process the videos, act like run inference with them with update sections from Autolytics. So let's just jump straight into it. We can see we're on the Google DeepMind front page here where we have the video model. They act like also just released another model called Jenny 3 which is a frontier world model. So it basically just renders the whole model with visual language models or so just huge generative AI models pretty much and then it generates a world that you can navigate around in. So you can actually control a character that is operating, that is actually like interacting with the world that gets generated on the go. If we jump back here to video, this is just for video generation, we can try it here with Gemini. So if you're inside Gemini, you can just put it in video mode and it's going to generate it with VO3. So I have a prompt here that we can try out. I'm just going to paste it in. So we just want to have bottles moving on a conveyor belt at normal speed. Then we can try to go in and see if we can do an object counting system after that. Just run this model or run this output video through our Autolytics pipeline for update detection and then we can run that for both inference but we can also use it to go in and generate synthetic data so we can train our Autolytics models on that. So let me just throw this in, bottles moving on a conveyor belt at normal speed and it's just one big generative model. This is the best out there available right now and even though it's the best now, it is the worst for the future. These models are only going to get better. We can see that it's generating my video and it will take one to two minutes. After done generating, let's generate one more example, see the output of them and then set up a pipeline. So while it's generating here, we can go inside Autolytics Solutions. There we go. We can just go to the Autolytics front page. If you go inside the documentation, there we go. We have a bunch of different solutions. We have videos covering pretty much all of it. Could be optic blurring, optic cropping, workouts monitoring, optic counting in regions. This is a pretty good one. So let's try to take a look at this. We have a dedicated video going over like the full code, everything that you need. Here we can see the different advantages. We basically just have regions where we're counting how many objects are within those regions. This can both be for a specific region. You can have people coming into a region, going out of region, doing line crossings, zone crossings, and all that. This is all the code needed. It's just a few lines of code and once the videos are done generating, we're going to take this code snippet, throw it into a code editor and then run the videos through. Let's go back here. It looks like we have our results here. Now we can see play the video. We even have audio as well, but this is like a pretty realistic video of a production line where we have these bottles moving on a conveyor belt. This looks very photorealistic. This is just awesome that, awesome that we can generate this. Can be used for synthetic data generation for labeling. And then you can train your models on it to detect it in production, or you can just use it to play around with some cool projects. Let's download the video. There we go. And then I have another prompt here we can just throw in. So we have two different systems where we have a busy road with vehicles moving at normal speed. Then you can use the speed estimation and all that inside the solutions. So this is everything that you have to do. Generate some videos with VO3 and use also like to process the videos. One to two minutes again. And while it's doing that, we have our video. Let's open up our code editor. I've already pasted it in the code, so this is the exact same code as we have inside the documentation. I'm just going to drag in this new video that we have created. So bottles moving on a conveyor belt. Let's grab the relative path. We're going to close this one. We swap out our video. There we go. We already have a terminal running. Let's remember to save it. So what we're doing now, we just define our region points that we want to count it on. You can have a line count, you can have a region count. This is just a solution that we're using out of the box for our region counter. All the other ones are available in there and you can check them out. So what we're doing here is pretty much just dividing our image into the left side and right side and then we're just counting the objects in those. You can go and define your own points based on your line that you want to track 
your regions could be you have specific regions where you want to track objects you can define them exactly here and you don't have to do anything else if you have a custom model trained on your own synthetic data could be from v or free you can swap out the model here and it's going to run with that instead of the base models we should have everything now here we can just run python object counting let's run it should open up this video here and we should see some results so now we can see we have divided it into the two regions. We get a refrigerator here for some reason, but we can see the white line here. This is actually like dividing it into the two regions. Let's rerun it again. We can see the count in the middle. So we have five bottles here. We have four bottles here. We start only getting detections around here. So it we could actually like just be defining a single line if we want to count how many bottles are actually like passing by. Would just be down in the center of the image here then we can count how many bottles are running on our convo build and we already have close to a production system up and running at least for doing reliable counting of how many objects are going out of our production so this is pretty cool let's jump back here again and see if we have this one there we go we even have pretty natural audio on the videos as well right now it's just driving as we're driving fov from us driving on the road could also be like from a top-down view Let's try to refine that prompt. Let's try to act like just tell it that this should be from a CCTV camera view, sitting monitoring traffic, and then you can use that for optic counting, traffic analysis, and all that stuff. So now we can see that we get a significantly better video for doing traffic monitoring. We could count how many people are going in one direction, how many or cars are going in one direction or the other. And it could be any type of vehicle and you can even use the also Lake YOLO base models directly out of the box. So let's download this video and just throw it through a pipeline as well. All we have to do, download, throw it in here, right click, copy relative path, update counting, swap out the path here. There we go. We save the file and we rerun a program. So now it's just gonna count them in the two regions. You can define your own regions. We have 15, 14, 13 cars in this region, and then we have nine, 10 cars here. Here we're also detecting cars on the, on the right side. We can see we have an ID for each detection as well, because we need to do both optic detection, but also optic tracking on top of it. This is going to make sure that we're not calculating duplicates because we don't really have any information about time if you're not tracking our objects this can be used for so many different things as i mentioned synthetic data generation for training your models it can be used for inference testing edge cases and so on so make sure you use these video generation models especially the one here from google bio free it's a pretty awesome one check it out you can use them with autolytics out of the box it's a few lines of code and you have it up and running